Welcome to Hawaii. Let's build a welding table. Well, I got this two by two box. Um, that's gonna be for the frame. Paid a little bit too much than I wanted. Um, and then for the surface, we're gonna use this half inch uh, flat stock. And those are all three foot sections. So here I am at warp speed. This is times 450. I'm just cutting the box tube that I'm gonna make the frame out of. It's gonna be 32 inches deep and seven feet long by 38 inches tall, I believe. And you can really see how slow that DeWalt chop saw is since this video is so sped up. So I got some of those pieces clamped up right now. This is gonna be the top part of the frame that the surface is gonna sit on. Uh, I made sure it's square by measuring corner to corner, also making sure that you know all, all the pieces are meeting up at an even height so one side's not higher than the other and making sure nothing's all twisted. Those little clamps that I have, I think they're for woodworking, but they seem to work pretty well for you know small, small stock. So the part that I just put together was for the top. Uh, it has that cross piece in there to help support the surface. I'm gonna end up tacking everything to that. The bottom doesn't have one of those, but right now I have it all tacked together and I'm flipping it up. And you can see how excited I am looking at it, I like the way it's coming out. So this is the progress so far. Got the frame um, tacked together. Uh, the legs just tacked on right now. But look at that. Boom. Same uh, the other way. Pretty nice. So now what I'm gonna do is just throw these uh, half inch by 12 by three uh, plates on there for the surface and that's gonna be pretty cool because I th I th I'm thinking half of it or maybe a little bit less uh, I'm gonna make it so I can move it around but kind of stealing that idea from another video <laughs> I, I th who was it I believe it was the fabrication series. He made a surface out of uh, like one by two box tube, which I, I thought was kind of cool. But um, you know, you can't really beat on that, and it's kind of flimsy, and I don't really see the point of that. So instead of buying one piece of plate I don't have anything to move a you know seven by three piece of half inch plate around I don't really want to lug it around by myself um, I decided to just get this 12 inch flat bar um, and it seems like it's gonna be pretty sturdy it, it shouldn't want to warp too much it's gonna be uh, welded that flat bar is just gonna be welded to this middle section also to just, uh, prevent warpage and uh, yeah, we'll I actually picked up some of this angle. Um, 
just like one by one eighth inch angle I'm probably going to be using that as a gusset of some kind you know just on on these edges the surface is gonna overhang well guys I uh, just finished up welding out the frame uh, pretty happy with it came out pretty nice uh, here's some of the welds it's all um, 330 second 7018 Okay, so I got this first piece on where I want it. I have it hanging six inches over, and it seems pretty straight. So I gotta, I gotta make sure this one's straight because this is what's gonna lead the rest of them. I'm gonna be welding this with one eighth 7018. Fit up's pretty good. Let's do it. So I ended up just tacking this first one here just, just to make sure everything lines up. Here's the warp speed of me putting all those plates on. and It looks real easy doing it on the high speed here. <laughs> I wish it went that fast, but those suckers are heavy. But I just wanted to get it all on the table and kind of see how I wanted it. I couldn't decide whether I, I, where I wanted to gap everything at. So this helped me get it all laid out and figure out what I want to do. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna make the removable ones. Uh, I just got this uh, one by one angle. Um, I got it marked out where I need it, and that should make a real nice fit on to those side rails. Um, I, I hope that over time it doesn't warp too bad, but if anything, I can always just, you know, gouge off that angle and uh, clamp it down and tack it, you know. Shouldn't be a big deal. I might end up doing that anyways. It depends how much I use these removable sections. The more I think about it, the more I don't like the idea, but I want to do it. Well guys, this is pretty much it. Got it where I want it. Like I was saying, I I want to add in two more of these leaves and have this side hanging over uh, about six inches. It'll make the table a little bit bigger and I don't know. I, I don't really like the look of, of the gaps. I just have this piece sitting on there right now. This was just the tail end of the 20 foot length. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go pick up some more links, and yeah, I'll, I think I'm gonna put these on the other side there once I get that welded down. I don't like them on this side. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you liked it, uh, like it or subscribe, and I'll be putting out more content soon. If you have any questions about this build or 
any requests for anything else, uh, let me know. All right.